welcome back to my channel love platinum beauty today i'm going to share with you some information that you may want to know and share with your child at home if you are a parent grandparent auntie uncle cousin and you want to do things at home and have fun activities at home so that your child can learn and can be the very best that he can be, then join me. Thank you. Now, if you have a third grader at home, these are some of the things that your third grader will be learning this year. Your third grader with reading will use reading strategies such as asking questions, making inferences, and summarizing. They will also describe characters, understand the different genres of fiction, determine the main idea, details, and non-fiction text, context clues, compare and contrast, writing, they will use a thinking map, revise and edit their writing, some will begin to write in cursive. They will use correct and basic punctuation. Now with math, your third grader will read and write large numbers through the hundred thousands, knowing the place value of each digit. Round and compare numbers, understand equivalent fractions, be able to compare fractions, use decimals, use a number line, recognize, and write patterns, do mental addition and subtraction, add four digit numbers, subtract and regroup. No time and minute, and read and make graphs. Measure both customary and metric systems, length, weight, volume, and temperature. Multiply three and four digit numbers, divide two and three digit dividends. So, I have some books here. Here's a division book. Book, book. It's time to give you an example of what it looks like. All right, I, I love using this book with the children in third grade. And let's see, here's another way. can learn at home. Also, here's a place value book. And this will help your child begin to also understand a number line with the place value. Also here, a fraction workbook. Very simple, basic fractions. And they will count. And they know this is six, so they will know that one is filled in out of six. And then circle one six right here. Also, here's money. All sorts of little quizzes, different denominations of money. Here is the multiplication workbook, and it has just a repetition of numbers multiplying by twos. And actually, you start out with multiplying by ones. And then twos, and then it goes all the way up. And then toward the end, as they get better with the multiplication, it will mix the numbers. They will be learning graphs during this time. So in this mapping book, there are some graphs for them to learn. Yeah, poetry writing and we have story writing our wonderful little fourth graders at home will understand subject verb agreement they will write stories and personal letters they will know basic punctuations and use it correctly define idioms they are also learn geography in history, fourth grade math, they will conquer fractions, solve two-step word problems, learn equivalent measures, one foot equal 12 inches, one yard equal three feet, 
identify polygons and their science will include earth science and how matter works. Home for your little fourth grader. We also have the story writing, the poetry, journey around a nation, has readings in there, you to read, a workbook, you to read, dear child. Writings about America. So you're learning about America, you're learning history, and you're learning about America as well as writing. And then they have passages here to writing prompts to get you started. And down here is where you can write. Also, this is a wonderful, I love this book, 50 Great States. And it has state-by-state um, -state scrapbook filled with facts, maps, puzzles, poems, photos, and more. And the students always enjoy it. I might have enjoyed it too. <laughs> this book, a lot of fun activities and there that you can do with your travel. For an example, this title says, blown through time and it actually shows you how to make a timeline here and they have pictures that represent that time period one starting back here nine thousand years ago and down here is with the space rocket i like to pull out critical thinking books to challenge the students these can be quite challenging but the critical thinking skills are really good as well. I always love these extra challenging work. Now, we have one of those eager fifth graders at home. Of course, they've learned a lot. They're highly intelligent and willing to learn so much more. So let's have some information at home for them to challenge them. And not only to challenge them, but to just kind of keep the ball rolling, just keep the learning going and help them to understand that learning is ongoing. You never stop learning and you want to always know new things and new information to help you to improve your knowledge and to make you more intelligent. So your fifth grader should know how to write different essays, search from at least three sources, read a novel, of course decode it, understand it, comprehend it, discuss it, explore and use figurative language, Mesoamerican history, European background history, the Civil War, the perspective of artworks, master common factors, and multiple. Deepen their knowledge of geometry. Dip toes into pre-algebra. Learn the concepts of mean, medium, and mode. Understand probability. Science, they're gonna understand the structure of cells. Probe into photosynthesis. Explore periodic tables. Learn how glands work, and so much more. So here at home, these are some of the workbooks that you can have for your amazing fifth grader. And I will start out with this wonderful math book just for fifth graders. And it has just about everything in there that was mentioned that your child will need to learn. And here is some example of the work. This is uh, subtracting fact fractions word problems with fractions and in this book your child will understand comparing numbers factors greatest common factor multiples least common multiple fractions renaming simplifying fractions mixed numbers, addition and subtraction of fractional numbers like denominators addition and subtraction of fractional word problems addition and subtraction of mixed numbers Multiplication division of fractions. Multiplication of fraction numbers, word problems, decimal fractions. Addition and subtraction of decimal fractions and working with money. All of this is in this one little workbook. 
And I guarantee you, if you have this book at home, but they're a little fifth grader, it will really help them. You will really be helping your child. Just with this one little simple workbook. Also, we have prompts to get their writing started, prompts of the day. They will be writing more. And of course, prime time thinking skills for those advanced students that like a little challenge. World Geography Workbook. There's all sorts of information in there. Answer keys on the back. Science with light and sound, physical science, electricity and magnetism, animal science, stars and planets. So there's so much right at home that you can do with your wonderful children. So let's make learning an enjoyable experience and let your children know that you're interested in their success, that you are doing all that you can to have your child to be successful. Also, we have a list of websites that you can go on for your child to participate and to enjoy right at home as he is learning his appropriate curriculum. And some children like to go higher. If they're in third grade, they like doing fourth grade work. I enjoy uh, teaching some of my students that like that challenge, taking them to the next level and giving them that challenge. So enjoy as we go through this different type of teaching and learning and help your child, please help your child be successful. And oh, don't think I forgot, on all my videos, what do I say? Drink plenty of water and let's be the best that we can be. I will see you later.